All right, Jesus is Lord. The word works. We are the healed, not trying to get healed. We are not the sick trying to get healed. We are the healed because the word has decreed our healing. Now, you may hear some noise in the background. We had a storm come through here the other day, and they're having to get up trees and all that stuff. But let me show you this about <clears throat> walking in divine health, maintaining your health. We're going to be on this one for a couple of days. Proverbs 4.20. My son, attend to my word. Incline thine ear unto my saying. Let them not depart from before your eyes and keep them in the midst of your heart. Now, there's a reason for that. Because it says, for they, the words, are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Now, that word health there is very easily translated medicine to all their flesh. Now, if you're on some kind of medication, the doctors told you that if you take that pill a day or maybe once in the morning, once in the evening, that whatever it is that's bothering you will be held in track or held back and can't bother you. And you faithfully, I'm talking about faithfully, people that I know, faithfully take that pill every day or maybe two or three pills. I don't know what it is, but they faithfully do it because the doctor said that if you do that, your health would be okay. And you wouldn't dare miss that because after all, the doctor knows what he's talking about. <laughs> well, my son, God knows what he's talking about. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Listen, the word, don't let it depart from before your eyes. It's medicine. It's medicine to all your flesh. So go to the word, take all of those healing scriptures that I gave you, which was probably over 50. Meditate them, write them out. You know, you can go through these broadcasts. You can go back and get every one of them for the last two or three weeks. And every time I quote a scripture about healing, write the reference down. Then that afternoon, write the scripture out on a piece of paper. I've got them all written out for myself. And every day, read those scriptures, confess those scriptures, meditate on those scriptures, look at them with your eyes. My son, attend to my word. And that word attend means to put it first place in your life. Now, right next door to us right now, our granddaughter Zoe is living with us and she has two little girls. And if one of those little girls cries, she has to tend to it. <laughs> I want you to get that. When that child cries, you know, has a little stump on falls, uh, you know, like uh, Harper right now. She's a little over a year, year and a half old. She stumps and falls and she cries. Her mama quits whatever she's doing and tends to her. Well, you need to quit whatever you're doing and tend to the word of God. Attend to my words. Plant the seed of that word first place in your life. Get up in the morning, read the word. The Bible says that. If you get up in the morning, read the Word. When you're sitting by the wayside, read the Word. I'm sitting out on my, my front porch. Read the Word. Meditate in the Word. So you plant the seed of the Word of God by reading it, by meditating on it, by confessing it, by playing tapes that you've heard it on, and you do it over and over. Now watch. My son, attend to my Word. Incline thine ear unto my saying. Quit watching all the news. It's not good anyway. And the news is not what we live by. I mean, it's all right to know what's going on and know how to pray. But listen, there are people so upset right now because they've been watching so much news, and I couldn't care less whether Oklahoma wins or Alabama wins or, or whoever played football yesterday. I don't even know. I mean, I've I got more important things to do, such as live a long life. So I've got to attend to the Word rather than attend to football. I've got to attend to the Word rather than attend to the news. And then I've got to hear the Word rather than what everybody else is saying. And I've got to be very choosy about who I listen to that's called to preach the good news because some of them ain't preaching good news. Doom and gloom and agony on me. I'm going to decree it. Jesus is Lord over the United States of America or whatever country you live in and Jesus is Lord on my house, my home, my surroundings and everything's going to be all right. I just had a thought. been 40 years ago when I used to go street witnessing with a Catholic priest that was turned on to the Word and I asked him one time, I said, do you still sprinkle holy water? He said, oh yeah. He said biggest, one of the biggest uh, evangelistic fields in the world is, is the denominational churches. He said, so I sprinkle holy water and say, won't do you any good, but it won't do you any harm. And then I preach. Or I said, what about that, you know, thing y'all do when you kneel? He said, oh, I do that too. He said, because I'm supposed to. But I say, since I met Jesus, everything's going to be all right. 
<laughs> hey, listen, everything's going to be all right. God's on my side. God's in charge. And in my home and dwelling, everything's going to be all right because I put the word first place in my life. Now listen, incline thine ear unto my sayings. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Why? For they are life to them that find them and health are medicine to all their flesh. And just like I said at the beginning of the broadcast, the doctor tells you to take that pill a day, and you'll take it faithfully. Take the gospel daily. Take the word of God and meditate on those healing scriptures daily to maintain your health. Don't wait till you get sick and have to get me or somebody else to pray the prayer of faith. Now, we're glad to do that for you, but maintain your health. Get up every day in perfect health. Stay in perfect health all day long and stay in divine perfect health at night. And go to bed at night and sleep good because the Bible says that your, sweet, your sleep shall be sweet, not in pain not in worry, not in all that other stuff. Hey, I got to go. Maintaining your health is meditating in the Word, confessing the Word, reading the Word, hearing the Word, and the Word is life and medicine to all your flesh. Got to go. Have a great day. We'll talk a little bit more about divine life tomorrow or the next day, but until I'm with you tomorrow, remember, hey, Jesus, He's Lord. Thank God the Word works.